What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, back to playing some Mono Green Tron. So we did really well with Blue Tron. Mono Green Tron has been going up in the meta recently, at least according to MTG Top 8. So let's gonna see what we can do with this build. Uh, I am still playing the Jagantha build. I brought in a few more Elvish Reclaimers just to test them out again. I had one in the last build, it's just an extra. But, you know, we're gonna have some fun with it. See how this build works. And this hand is, it's got the Ancient Stirring, so I think that's going to be a keep. We can top deck. We've got two green sources. Uh, decent chance to get drawn. Warm Coil Engine, which is good if this ends up being a burn deck. All right, let's see what we can do. First look at our opponent's playstyle and Temple Garden. All right. First guess, I'm going to say... All right, second guess, I'm going to say Boggles. I was going to say Helliod Life, but that looks like Boggles. Play the Chromatic. So being on the draw here can be a little rough. Just depends on what uh, spells they're going to have in hand. Ooh, just going to swing in for one. Interesting. Slippery Boggle. Core Spirit Dancer. All right. Well, we will crack for green. Hopefully draw a Sylvan Scrying. Tower Ancient Stirrings. And we get there. We got the ears is mine. Uh, we'll take this opportunity to run out a chromatic sphere as well. So. All right, this is going to be a big turn for them. All right, so they're going putting everything on the hex. Yep, makes sense. Go ahead and crack for green, because why not? Play the Karn. We'll take the Daybreak Coronet. So, three at Karn, three at me. Yep. Ugin would be our best find here. Well, that'll be good for next turn. Warm Coil should buy us the time we need. But 
But yeah, Ulamog next turn. We do have the Sanctum. Ooh, that's pretty good too. No, I think Ulamog's the better card here. No reason not to run out the Sanctum. And they're gonna scoop to that, nice. Cool, so we will go to game two. Any sideboard moves? Spatial Contortion is not bad, but it's not the best either because they run things that, hmm, well, maybe we bring in some wilts. Yeah, I think we'll bring in a couple wilts. Uh, get rid of some Elvish Reclaimers. Right? Yep, we'll give that a try. Just a way to get rid of some of those enchantments. Buy us some time. Declare the Companion. Nope, that does not get there. That is very close to getting there, but we don't have a green source, so we'll mulligan. And that's going to be a keep. So what do we need? Three cards on the bottom. Elvish Reclaimer. Is that really the route we need to go? I think it is. All right, this is gonna be a rough one. We need to find a playable threat. All right, there's the slippery boggle. There's a playable threat. We do technically have turn three Tron. Daybreak Coronet. Oh. Yep, that is fairly effective here. Although it's not normally effective, which is weird. Maybe they're just trying to shut down Blast Zone. Alright, hoping for a Tron land. But not that Tron land. Yep, it is four to activate. Uh, 
and this will be last zone will be five to activate, which will be rough. Yep, that's a good bit of damage. Well, this is rough. Maybe we just go for the Golos, any order. Suppression field, I was not expecting to have this much trouble with. Can I get Tron online here? I can, but I'm still, I'd still do better to go for the Golos and hope we don't die next turn. Oh, he may have done the suppression field for the Golos. Yep, that makes sense. We're in a good spot. Little on the close side going down to three, but with their board removed, I don't think they're going to be able to do much before we... Or that. They could force a Vigor. Uh, we do get the tokens off the Warm Core, at least. But the clearing their board state is nice. Now, do they have a creature in reserve? Let's do some math here. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, yeah, we actually can afford to Sylvan Scrying here, and that'll be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and yes. Go grab the Sanctum, play the Sanctum. They may just scoop to this. All right, they've got some trick up their sleeve. Yeah. 
Golos, right? Yeah, I think we want to Golos. And we will go ahead and swing three. Ooh, okay, so they're gambling pretty hard here, but they're keeping us at three. Griff Spoon and they have it. Get a Trinosphere here. And they're going to scoop to the Trinosphere. All right. So there is the Tron B Boggles game. It usually works out in our favor because if we can clear their board, they have a hard time recovering. Uh, they did get us down to three. They can get us low pretty quick. If, and if they can rush out the damage, they can uh, get there before we do anything as well. Uh, so it just comes down to if we get Tron online and have a way to interact with their board state. But yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And if you made it all the way to the end, consider uh, liking the video or subscribing to the channel for more content. This is Tectonic Edge here, signing out.